It's actually quarter past seven, um, but I'm really bored. So I'm just kind of hoping, because the, the weather's been a bit shit, I'm just kind of hoping that it doesn't get too bad and the lighting stays okay. We'll soon see. Sparks primer water because why the hell not? And I will be trying out my new foundation. This is the next HD Studio Photogenic Foundation in nude. It's kind of thin though, which is always nice. It does say that it has a be a buildable, a buildable coverage. Okay, so that's like one really thin layer of it, which I feel like is just sort of evened everything out rather than covered up too much, which is quite nice because obviously I know that I can just build it up if I did want full coverage and it feels really nice on my skin. So I'm just going to take, like this look, yeah, some concealer as per usual, just to make it look like I... I've actually slept. The weird thing is that like today, since getting Nemo, I've kind of been up at like half five every morning because he chooses then to make as most noise as possible. Um, but today I actually slept. So I don't know if he was being good and decided not to make any noise, but that was nice. So I'm just going to use a little bit of an old MUA powder just to set underneath my eyes. I don't really want to do too much to the foundation, apart from my upper lip because it's kind of sweaty and then as this is sort of like a gothic inspired look um i'm just going to be using this is the sleek sahara like blush but works quite well as like a noticeable contour but i will be blending it upwards you'll you'll see you'll see what i'm doing What's really nice about this foundation as well is it doesn't feel like, you know, as I'm doing this, it, it doesn't feel like it's slipping and sliding around my face, which is always nice, as today's like still boiling, <laughs> so it doesn't feel too slippery. Okay, I'm just going to sculpt around my face to make sure I don't have a double chin. <laughs> this is the Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlight in Golden Light which is obviously more sort of warm so I'm just going to take the tiniest little bit because it's like olden day, olden day, back in the day gothic looks were always kind of like quite flat and like obviously matte, huh, rhyme um, but I feel like everything's kind of changed and sort of more gothic looks are quite glamorous. I don't know, maybe it's just me. I'm just gonna prep my eyelids as well. Okay, so I'm just gonna use the Makeup Revolution What You're Waiting For palette. I really, really like the eyeshadow palettes. Sorry that I use them all the time, but that's what it looks like. Um, and just these two matte colors I'm gonna use first to sort of give me a little bit of like smoke obviously and then move on to a dark brown and then maybe okay so that dark brown is just kind of going more concentrated in what i would like to think my crease would be <laughs> but obviously with the hooded eyes it's kind of difficult all right so once you've got sort of like a shadow, you want to go on with more of a precise brush with the black because you don't want like a full on smoky eye. Well, I mean, you can if you want to, but for like sort of everyday kind of wear, you don't want to be, I don't know, maybe you do. I, won't, I don't judge, but whatever. I'm just going to stop talking now. You can also, before you properly blend it out, go in with a dark brown and just kind of use that to go over top and it'll just make things a lot less harsh and I find kind of easier to blend. 
All right, so you just want to also make sure that from like afar, especially with hooded eyes, that they do kind of look symmetrical. I know that just sounds like really obvious, but you know, just covering all grounds, yeah. Um, I'm just going to take a nice sort of light creamy-ish colour just to make sure it looks like my eyes are actually open and I don't want it like too pigmented so I'm just going to whack it on like that and then use my finger to kind of smudge it in and then I'm going to take the dark brown colour for underneath my eyes And again, you don't want to be too precise, you can kind of put it on and smudge it out. Now you just want to go in with any mascara of your choice. Um, and obviously, I always prefer to curl my eyelashes, but if you don't want to, that is completely fine. This is just the Benefit Roller Lash. I'm not 100% sure if Benefit is suitable for vegans. I am trying to use everything up and then have like a completely cruelty free suitable for vegans makeup collection um which is a lot more difficult than i thought but we'll get there eventually kind of back in a day i don't really like to say that because i'm 19 i'm not like 60 but i found that like gothic sort of eyebrows are quite thin and like really dark whereas now they're more just sort of precise and angular still dark obviously um but it's kind of just like my natural eyebrows but making sure that i actually pay attention when i do them so this is just the anastasia dip brow in dark brown i'm just kind of gonna make sure it's more pigmented and precise I feel like doing my eyebrows is just like fighting a losing battle like no matter what I do it just never turn out right now for the whole reason that I actually film this <laughs> It is the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in, oh, shit, what colour is that? I don't even know what colour it is. Is it Stone Fox? Is that, is that the colour? Maybe. That looks kind of teal, like it's like a blue toned grey, which kind of makes my teeth look yellow, but holy shit, I think I really like it. Like it's so different and not what I was expecting at all, like I thought it was going to be like pretty darn grey, because even, even when I tested out my hand, it was pretty grey, but I really like that, that's so weird. Yeah, that feels really nice on my lips. Again, the foundation feels so lovely. Like, it's like I can't feel anything on my skin, which is just heaven to me. And the fact I think it's about twelve quid, maybe. So same price I believe for my Body Shop one. I think it might have gone up by like a quid. Obviously, I used to use like the Giorgio Armani, the Il Masca, which are all like thirty odd quid. So it would be brilliant if this stays on well. So fingers crossed. Ooh, this is how the look looks <laughs> without any glasses on. My nose looks really full of massive though when I have no glasses on. Anyway, see you next time. Bye!